Hi YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. And we're here today with the Fuego Box. Plus something. Don't. Oh yes, it's happening. Ass. Anyways. So, for those of you that don't know and are tuning in for the first time, um, this is a box where you can get three hot sauces a month for $29.95. One hot sauce a month for ten ninety five, or three a quarter for twenty twenty nine ninety five. Mm -hmm. I will link the website down below. And they always send you a card, and usually, yep, a five dollar code. But you cannot stack them every. You cannot keep like five of them every month. It's really too bad. Them. Otherwise, we would have a lot of Quago bucks or whatever they're called. Yeah. And by the way, somebody asked me this last time, so I wanted to make this clear. Uh, he uses all of these hot sauces. Pretty much. Like, he'll eat I it. have to use all of them, and I have to buy more to supplement. Uh, yeah. So, uh, don't... If, if he likes it, he uses it. Now, there are ones that he doesn't like that we probably end up throwing away, although we might start keeping the bottles, but... Yeah. So, anyways, they always send a card saying what everything is. Uh, what do you think we should go first with? Mm -hmm. Generally best starting with the green. I realized last time that kind of bit us, but you are generally best starting with the green. The chances that two green ones in a row are the hottest ones in the box is really low. I'm going to punch you this time if it is. On camera. The whole world's going to see. That's fine. Then I'll have the video evidence for the police. They're going to laugh at you. The police are out here. Anyways. So, the Jersey Barn Fire Garden State Green Hot Sauce. We've gotten a hot sauce from them before. I think it was the maple one, though, and it was gross. But one was of our favorite sauce makers, Jersey Barn Fire, has hit it at the park with their new Fire Roasted Verde Sauce. Garden State Green is a cilantro lime tomatillo blast paired... Excuse me! With a super hot green pepper mash created to utilize the green chiles on JB's farm before the wrath of the October frost. Maybe you should live somewhere else if you're worried about the October frost. Addictively delicious, this sauce will take you straight to your favorite tacaria. 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 It's not spelled like that, though. Yes, it is. No, it's not. T-A-Q-U-E-R-I-A. Tacaria. Whatever. Or vacation destination mentally. Try it on pork, fish, steak, Grilled chicken, eggs, tacos, sandwiches, and guacamole. It is. It looks like your basic ass uh, green sauce. It does. It smells kind of like your basic green sauce. Give me a lot. Sorry. There's like almost <sighs> no salt in it, which is really strange for a hot sauce. Like normally they're they're pretty salty. And maybe it's because of the lack of salt. That is bitter. It's a little bit. There's a, there's a lot of lime in it, like almost too much lime, and, and probably the, the acid from the tomatillos. But I mean, it's not bad. There's just not nearly enough salt in it, and I expect a lot of salt in hot sauce. Well, we're used to Louisiana hot sauce. I'm used to a lot of hot sauce. So should we go? Uh, which one? Uh, I guess. El Pero Afortunado. A.K.A. Taco Dog. Left hand side. Oh. Oh, it's from Lucky Dog. Who we've also gotten hot sauce. We've gotten plenty of ones from them. It was before. a mango hot sauce. It was delicious. We've gotten several from them, actually, Pepper? I believe. El Pedo Fortunado. This is Lucky Dog Hot Sauce's take on a classic Mexican picante table sauce, and you, Fuego Box members, are the first to try it. They capitalized first. Growing up in Cali, these types of sauces were staples in creator Scott Zalkin's home. That's an awkward word. For five years, Lucky Dog's customers have asked for a variety in that style and El Pedro Unfortunado's hum humbly attempts to deliver. Fire roasted tomato, hints of cumin, Spanish bro ah! Spanish smoked paprika, garlic, and onion. Um, shut up, don't laugh at me. I can feel you laughing. Add layers to the four pepper blend to create a picante sauce with depth. <coughs> 
try it on oysters, omelets, breakfast burritos, pizza, roasted potatoes, wraps, sandwiches. It doesn't say sandwiches. It says sandwiches. Burgers, chicken, fish, a tall Bloody Mary, and any kind of Mexican food. Yeah, I know I can't read very well, but I did not mispronounce that. It smells like taco sauce. It's kind of thick. It is. Ooh, that's good. Hot, but oh, good. That's super good. That would be so good on a quesadilla or a taco or anything Mexican. Really. It does taste kind of like a really spicy quesadilla sauce. So good. I'm going to use the crap out of that. There's cumin in it, which I love. Yeah. He, that is the happiest he has been about hot sauce for a while. That's going to be really good. We might buy more of that, honestly. It could happen. Finally use some of those $5 credits we've got stacking up. Uh, most of them have been thrown away. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Whatever, we can't use We'll hold one on to this one. We'll put this somewhere. Can't use it one at a time, anyway. I know, but we'll hold on to that one, because I know you're going to eat that in like a week. Probably. Finally, we have the LBI Love Potion Extra Garlic. It's all savory. This dynamic, award-winning garlic carbonara. Why can't I read tonight? Habanero hot sauce spawned from a homemade sauce that was originally created and given out as wedding favors by co-founders Graham and Lindsay Connolly for their 2013 wedding on Long Beach Island, New Jersey. With its medium heat, it is very accessible while adding a punch of life to any food or recipe. The vinegar levels are also quite low, allowing for other ingredients, aged red habaneros, carrots, onions, and garlic to shine through. Try it on any fried foods, Bloody Marys, eggs, pizza, cocktail sauces, mayo, chilled shrimp, raw oysters, cooked seafood, or as a base for marinades, aioli condiments, and wing sauce. Makes an amazing Fra Diablo when added to pasta sauce. Fra Diablo. I have no idea. Really? I have no idea. You have to be you have to be aware of how rare it is for me to hear him say that. It smells like garlic. Ooh, that does smell like garlic. Ooh, it tastes like garlic too. That's good. I love garlic, and there's a lot of garlic in that. I do. Really I not, also love garlic. It's really not that spicy, but uh, there is a ton of garlic in it, and I love it. So, I said, and a little extra at the beginning. You see, a couple of weeks ago, I decided, because, well, my dad was given a, a bunch of peppers from a customer of his to uh, make my own hot sauce, and I made two. And uh, I've had them, but she hasn't tried them yet, so we're going to have them on camera for you because this is the only way I can make her do it. Yeah, he's an ass waffle. And I'm an ass waffle. So this one is a uh, jalapeno poblano serrano habanero hot sauce that uh, I'm that uh, Do you not love two. me? Did I do something wrong? I do love you. Why are you making me eat this? Knowing it's going to hurt me. It's really not. My ass. As you can see, it's, it's green, and it's kind of your standard green sauce. Except that I made it. It doesn't smell like anything. It's good. Got good sour sourness. I really didn't think it was that hot. Like, being legitimate, not just me being weird. Anyway, um, I use it anywhere I would use a green sauce. And I made, I don't know, probably a quart of it or so, and I've probably gone through at least a couple of cups worth. Until I found those bottles, we were storing it in whatever we had on hand. Giant mason jar. Um, the other is uh, a cayenne chipotle and habanero uh, with uh, extra garlic in it. That first one tastes, tastes like the... Extremely spicy banana pepper to me. Were there banana peppers in it? No. No, there were not. But with the sourness of the vinegar, plus the green, plus the heat, I could, I could see where you would come to that. Then this is, as I said, chipotle, cayenne, and habanero. Brian, my eyes are watering. You'll be fine. Why don't I smell anything? I don't know, because I can smell them. 
Mostly you taste the chipotle and the, uh, and the garlic. The cayenne was only there as kind of a, a back flavor. It's smoky. Good, it should be. Yeah, um, yeah, I was going to make them on camera, but the, she wasn't feeling well that day and I had to use them. If you guys would like to see it when he makes the next batch, I will film them. But that's all. I just wanted to, you know, make her try them on camera because it was the only way I could guarantee her to try them. I'm never eating that green one again. That's fine. More for me. Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in today. As always, we really do appreciate it, even when he's being a butt waffle to me. And hopefully I, we will see you later. Bye!